<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the stream. It is Thursday morning. We're in the kitchen again. Yahoo. Um, and Bean. Bean is eating the internet cable. So, we've been dropping. It's been... So, I'm starting to think that maybe I need a new internet cable for the kitchen stream. I wonder if there's a way to test that. We'll have to figure it out. So, anyway. Hey, Perserka escaped. Didn't even know they were there. <laughs> so, uh, what are we doing? We are cooking some chicken bacon cheese roll up things um we'll do some mash uh to go with it <laughs> it's being an idiot i swear um and uh, we'll do some mash to go with it because mash and um we are going to be experimenting with the ricey dessert that i've been trying to make um <laughs> so we have um we'll see how that goes but for today that bean has her head buried under a rug anyway <laughs> we have a pair of pressure fruit um fruit juices one is pink lady and one is granny smith so we're going to have a taste test of those I've been using the Pink Lady, but it's turning out really freaking sweet. So we're going to try. We'll get into that. Anyway, so um, as always for the cooking show, just before I kick it off, we have Twitch Safe Royalty Free No Copyright Music by Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. So go check out, if you like the music that we've got in the background, go check out White Bat Audio on YouTube. Um, and whoops. Then we press play. Ta-da! Alright, there we go. So, that should be okay. Hopefully... I don't know, is that echoing through? Might have to turn it down on this end. Now, if that's echoey, let me know, um, and I'll see what I can do about it. I don't know why it's doing that all of a sudden, but who knows. Anyway, coffee dry. Still probably a little loud. Let's turn it down a bit. There we go. All right, that's better for me. <laughs> And it's all about me, right? Honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so taste test. I'm gonna do this taste test. I'm gonna start with the pink lady. Can't see that, way too glowy. All right. So you really, I mean, there doesn't seem to be real, any real color difference between the two. I mean, the Granny Smith looks a bit greener and the Pink Lady looks a bit pinker, but that's because there's pink and green light shining through it. So, but this is the Pink Lady. I know the flavor of this one. I, I do enjoy it. It's a really mellow flavor. So, sweet, but smooth. It's not. Bean, I swear to God. She eats my network cable, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna smack her. Smack her in the naughty bottom. All right, now the Granny Smith. I haven't tried the Granny Smith before. Looks just like water, still. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That's got a fair bit of bite to it. 
Woo. Might actually be able to just use that. See, that's making my teeth rattle. Wow. But, seeing we're trying to make a dessert out of this, um, I may end up having to do a combination of the two. But, what we're going to try first is, um, we're going to try a, I tried 100% uh, Pink Lady, just throw that in and put the rice in it. It came out so insanely sickly sweet um, that it was generically horrible. So, <laughs> so this time we are not, um, we're not going to, um, we're not going to do that because, ooh, gross. Beanie, do you want to come say hello to Stream Bean? Come here, Beanie. Come on, Bean. This is the Void Bean. Hey? It's okay, Bean. <laughs> Whoop! Go eat your duffer. There you go. That's the Void Bean. She is our newest kitty. She is both loved and a lunatic, so, you know. Alright. So, let's talk about rice for a minute. Um. I tend not to buy Australian rice because of same reason I don't buy Australian cotton and that is because this is not the country in which to grow rice too much irrigation out of too many of our rivers and yeah I don't I don't like the concept so that said the counterpoint to that is that the carbon emissions used to get it here from wherever we buy it, be it China, in this case, Swords brand is from Vietnam. Um, so it's one of those things. They're, they're, you use the carbon to get it here, or you use unsustainable irrigation to grow it here. And in this case, honestly, um, the unsustainable water usage is to in it is for me it's the greater of the two evils. Um, eventually, there's no reason that eventually shipping can't go green. But, you know, you have solar powered or wind powered or wave powered ships. You know, um, all three that can. Um, that can deliver in a carbon neutral that that can be changed to sustainable whereas um, over irrigation of crops in this country that is not and never will be sustainable so my choice in that matter is to go um, is to just not buy Australian rice and um, suck the carbon sink until it, be, it gets more eco-friendly so there you go There's two cents worth <laughs> worth of uh, Ulrich, Ulrich's thoughts on on sustainability for that so what we're gonna do is we are going to take this nice grown in Vietnam rice we're just gonna put half a cup I'm gonna put half a cup of rice in the rice cooker so, this isn't a lot of rice. Oh. Now, I've got the rice cooker set up off camera. Nah, it's not enough. Keep going. There we go. I've got the rice cooker set up off camera. Because um, it's just a rice cooker. You can see it there. But it's not going to be on these cameras. So, there you go. It's kind of on camera. <laughs> Kind of sort of. And so we're going to have a go at cooking this. A 
at this point, I'm not overly concerned about um, rinsing the rice or anything like that. Um, I find, depending on what you're doing is what you, why you rinse it or not, whether you want it sticky or whether you want it loose or whatever. Um, I don't find that rinsing or not affects the flavor profile. Um, it affects the texture profile, sure, but eh, in this case, we're, we're, going we're going pretty much purely for the flavor on this one. So, now, juice. There's that, whoop, but there's that little lump going in the corner there. That's just what I'm trying to break up, get into the food. experiment underway. So now what we're going to do, <laughs> we have some Lilydale chicken, which is uh, free range, free range Australian chicken. And we have the thighs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the thighs. We're going to have a look at it. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go too far with that. The hand's a bit of a rinse. Beans just filthy. <laughs> so, here we go. We are. Now, what I'm currently just looking for is predominantly cartilage. Every now and then, there's just a little bit of cartilage left. And I want to take that off. I'm going to take some of this fascia off as well. Come on. Doesn't want to move. There we go. So check them for the cartilage, check them for the lumps and bumps. And now I need a plate to put it on. subscription rage doing the happy dance doing the happy dance doing the happy dance doing the happy dance <laughs> yeah I missed you too rage my adventure off doing adventures so all these little fatty scraps will go to the cats they're going to love it. <laughs> uh, no, I'll leave that there. That's fine. So, how you been, Rach? What have you been up to? <laughs> um, upright. How you doing? How you doing, upright? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Rach, I got my notification last night that you were live and I was at a Backstreet Boys concert. <laughs> nice. Oh, this one's tiny.
It's gonna make for some interesting cooking times. See, Rach, you appeared and boom, there's upright. Just ready to go. <laughs> Working tiny house betterment projects like handling new curtains, uh, not a whole lot. Yeah, fair. Thought you actually meant tiny house, not tiny house. <laughs> that didn't make sense. That made more sense in my brain. I thought you meant like you're moving towards having a tiny house, which is a, an eco type of house rather than doing tiny house jobs like small house jobs. I need to get a grip pad for this chopping board so it doesn't run around all over the place on me anymore. Alright. Okay. Big bit for the kitties. So, yeah, we're using um, nice thigh meat for this one. But I'm just cleaning it up a bit. Because some of it you want, some of it you don't. These have all been pre-deboned. <laughs> oh, Rick's back. All right. <laughs> Whoops. That was not a good sound. Uh, oh, Rage caught Munchlaps. Nice, nice catch, Rage. Huzzah! Straight back into it. Just doing all the catching. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> no, she's in, she's in your brain now, upright. Nothing you can do about that. <laughs> My adventure was good, right? I, um, I learned some things. Um... Got a, a bit of a handle on some of the stuff that I want to do and some of the stuff that I don't want to do when it's my turn to um, when it's my turn to build an eco off-grid house. So yeah, well, it's good. Did some teaching, which is always nice. But no, normal size house, just small jobs, building up to big ones. Yeah, fair. And here comes Ziggy. She has smelled chicken. <laughs> she, has, she has smelled the chickens. Kakin Hakako. Hey, doing? Thank you for the follow. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. <laughs> All right, Ziggy. Ziggy. Zig, zig, zig! Ziggy! 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 No, alright, you know what, chicken? See if I care. Chicken is her favourite, but she's deaf, so. So, welcome. Hi! Welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. I apologise in advance if I'm butchering your. Well, I just apologise if I'm butchering your name. Kakin Hakako. Kakin Hakako. Let's hope that's right. <laughs> or at least close enough. <laughs> ah! Bean is sitting down there and she has an ear full of cobweb. It's very cute. Okay, have some chicken. Hey, look. They wait just outside of the kitchen most of the time, which is nice because that means I can move around the kitchen and not trip on them. <laughs> All right, so that looks good enough. We now have a little bit of uh, cat treats that we can give to the kitties later. Be 
pica pica. Oh, hey, thank you for the subscription. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Doing the happy dance. Huzzah! <laughs> that is <excited. laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. Yay! All right, so now I need to wash my hands again. <laughs> Dean is looking a little shell shocked. It's like, what was this magical thing you just gave me? It was awesome. Give me more. <laughs> That's not the first time you've had chicken, is it? Is that the first time you've had chicken? I don't know. We haven't done this recipe in the house for ages, so maybe it is. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Absolutely upright. The more the merrier. <laughs> um, where's the open bit? Where did you get off? Okay. So what we're doing today is we are doing, we've taken some chicken thigh fillets, we've cleaned them up a little bit. We are now going to just get some uh, tasty cheddar going. Then we're going to take the rind off some bacon. And we are going to end up rolling them all up together and um, cooking them. Whoop, not that one. Not that one. What the hell? Ah. Put away upside down in my block. That's why I couldn't find it. Because <laughs> I put it away wrong. Food is always good in rolled form. Absolutely upright. It's also good, you know, bacon. It's just bacon. <laughs> so, well, we are using the Mainland Tasty Cheddar Cheese for this. Now, we're not going to use a lot of cheese. Um, so for each chicken breast, we're going to use, it's basically a slice down the, the short side and then chopped in half. And that's it. Um, mainly because, um, you, if you put too much cheese in this, it just melts out the sides, which if you want is fine because when you take it out of the oven and it's still bubbly, you just sort of scoop it up and put it on top and just let it sort of go into the into the bacon as you serve it. So, depends on what you want to do. I tend to just like the cheese in the middle. So, it's, um, I'm, I put smaller bits of cheese in. Uh, I also find that using especially melty cheese, like um, mozzarella or some such, is ah that's the rice finished um just leaks out straight away as soon as it gets melty oops <laughs> all these bits of cheese falling off oh no <laughs> Means I have to eat the cheese. Just wants to stay stuck to the knife. I don't know why, but it does. So, Kakin Hakako, where are you from? What are you up to? What are you doing? Tell me a story. <laughs> How did you get to come into this, into my channel and find everyone here? Upright, eat the cheese, you live a hard life. Like kitties getting chicken. <laughs> right? Chicken. Should have done a count of how many things I had. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll do one more for now. 
and that should do. Oh, this one's a bit thick. But that's okay. All right. I've only used half a block of cheese. It's fine. <laughs> to do a single serve. What am I looking for? Something that is not in that drawer. Where's my rice duva? Ah, there it is. Rice duva. All right. Oh, okay. Yep. Looks like we may have missed, we may have, uh, Scorched it to the bottom. <laughs> Oops. Um, lift the bowl. Not this time. All right. So that's interesting. Because I didn't put a bit much. It's it's just um. Because I didn't put enough in. It's scorched it to the bottom a little bit. Doesn't usually happen. So here we go. We've got the rice. Not enough. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> so, first mix I did of this, I did 100% um, I did 100% uh, apple juice. This time, I did a mix of 50-50 um, between apple juice and water. And the rice is nicely cooked. That's fine. But it's not quite, it's not quite sweet enough. It's not up to where I want it in its sweetness. So I'm going to have to do another experiment. Probably do, might as well just go to three quarters. Three quarters orange, uh, orange juice, Jesus. Three quarters, <laughs> three quarters apple juice, uh, one quarter um, water. See if I can find a crunchy bit. No. I mean, it's nice and all. It's rice. But not where I want it to go yet. Alright. I'll eat the rest of that later. to take a short break um, I'll be back in you know 45 seconds <laughs> maybe a minute <laughs> I'll be back and we're back all right so we have our cheese <laughs> we have our cheese and our chicken and an itchy eyeball so now all we need is the bacon. So as we prep that, I'm going to put the oven on. So we're preheating the oven to 180 degrees. And when this is all done, we're going to put them in there for half an hour and see what happens. Oh, Spiro got away. Boo. All right, so, oops. 
Here we go. I think each, I think we'll probably just do, these are pretty big rashes of bacon. So what I think we'll do is we'll try, roll up one in one rasher. We'll see how that goes. And then um, if that goes well, we'll just keep doing it in ones. If it doesn't go so well, we'll do two. going to do with the bacon rinds. We'll think of something. All right, so uh, let's start with that around. Oh, look at that. Bacon fell off. So how are we going to do this? We do that and that. This will be interesting. I don't think that's going to be enough. Nope. Nope, not enough. But that's in the way. So, we don't want that in the way. I can cook that up in a minute. I'm gonna have to cook that one up because I've contaminated it with chicken. So. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm struggling with cooking rice and pasta. I thought I knew how, but I think perhaps I don't. Oh no, what's going wrong, Rach? Well, the rice, I think, is because mum had fancy arborio rice and didn't know, I didn't know that when I first started cooking it, so it kind of just turned to glue. Glue's usually just rinsing it. Um, if you if you rinse it and rinse it and rinse it, um, it doesn't glue together. Still used it. And the pasta is just big shells. They seem to somehow be slimy and yet so chewy. Is that overcooked? or undercooked. Slimy pasta. Okay. I'm trying to think which way. Anyway, I'm not sure. Uh, right, you are now contaminated, so you go over there. <laughs> Good Lord, I need another plate. Here you go, Z. I don't usually cook this recipe, so I'm figuring out how it goes. All right, there we go. That's better. And put that on there. Put the excess over there. All right. So let's do that. Double up the bacon. Oh no. Whoa. All right, we'll put that out there. Get a block of cheese in the middle. And rolly, rolly, rolly. Here we go, look at that. <laughs> All right, so happy with that. <coughs> now that I know what I'm doing, let's get another chopping board out. Where do I want to do this? We'll do it that way. Coffee dray. <laughs> oh, not gluing together. It just sort of dissolved into itself, but I think it's because it's risotto. Ah, maybe. Well, baked rice. Baked rice, custard rice. It's more absorby. Okay, than just rice. Upright. Undercooked. Undercooked is slimy, right. Salted water to boiling, cooked to taste for the pasta. Rice, I cheat and get smart rice cooker. 
<laughs> uh, right, spirals and long pasta seem to be fine. Oh, there you go. Now, we need another plate. sealer so I can one of the beauties I know that I'm, I'm taking the big bit of bacon off but um, what I can do is I can actually just throw the bits into the back sealer and uh, throw them into the freezer and then use them for whatever purpose over time so it will not be going to waste if you haven't figured it out we're, we're not fans of waste in this house <laughs> Use everything. Come on. Including a sharpener on your knives. You git. Gonna have to do a special stream of me sharpening knives and making a git of myself. <laughs> At upright, why did they take so long? It was 15 minutes and the best to eat, but the heck to cook. Well, uh, you know. Sometimes, whoa, that's a chunker. Let's take that off. <laughs> I don't know, this is even gonna go all the way around. These giant lengths of bacon may go around once. Here we go. I suppose it only really has to go around once, eh? These might these are looking pretty big. They might take a little more than half an hour. In the oven, but we will see. Just thinking about that rice. We're gonna have to uh we're going to have to, I think, um, once we've got these in the oven, we'll clean up that rice. Well, we're going to do some mash to go with it. Um, but might clean up that rice bowl and, and try again. Now that I'm using both chopping balls for all of this. <laughs> See, 15 minutes on rolling boil, I would suggest would be too long. Like, way too long. But maybe that's just me. Upright, so experiment. Do the pot, take a single shell, cook by itself, time it. One shell should cook much quicker. Next dry handful, time it. Make sure you're getting the pasta how you want. Yeah, absolutely. What he said. No bean. <laughs> bean is now sitting on the chair just, just down here in front of me. And um, she is eyeing everything I do. <laughs> Is there more chicken? You have more chicken for me, right? Chicken. No, Lilu. No more chickens. Well, there is, but you're not getting it yet. <clears throat> Hopefully I've bought enough bacon. I bought like a kilo of bacon, so... <laughs> That's not enough, we're in trouble. <laughs>
and there's the Issa. Now they've all come to visit because they can all smell the chicken. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. So much for cutting in a straight line. <laughs> uh, Rachel I seem only to cook about once a month because I bulk stock my freezer and then just take it to work. Look, bulk stocking your freezer. I I am all for that idea. <laughs> All three cats just got a little bit of chicken. <laughs> Should have seen Bean. <laughs> she just leaped on it. <laughs> How many more have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should put seven on there. That'd be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> fine, I tell you. Do we have another 14 rashes of bacon though? I'm thinking the answer is going to be no. <laughs> no, Issa. You've had your bit. Might have to do a pea and ham soup. Get a couple of uh, bacon hocks or pork hocks, piggy hocks, piggy feet. Use up all these bacon rinds. You just put them into into the um, into the stew and just let the let the stew take all the flavour out of them and imbue it. <laughs> just imbues it. What, right, Issa? I see you looking at me. Rolly, 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 roll. Now, I suppose you could actually like skewer this with toothpicks and that would work. I generally find don't have to, so. Oops. Come here. Mm, I think we've only got about four or five rashes left in the uh, in the bag. That said, you don't normally get quite so many uh, chicken thighs in one of these boxes. Should have counted. <laughs> I'll know next time to count. So actually, um, Upright, are you still around? You may have wandered off. Yo! So, I was saying earlier in the stream that uh, I don't do Australian grown um, rice or cotton because of how much water it uses and how much irrigation is required, etc, etc. 
And so I, I balance it between carbon carbon footprint of shipping rice from somewhere else versus unmanageable water usage growing it in this country. And uh, I was wondering if you had thoughts on the use of um, Australian rice. Oops. Because I don't do it. I just don't do it. Because <laughs> if you go, if everyone hasn't figured it out, Upright is one of the people that has really inspired me to get into my cooking. So. Because he is very good at cooking. Oh, that's gone on there. Let's take that off. Goes in that pile. Can. Uh, honestly, not something I usually consider, to be honest. If I want rice, typically I just go to the local Indian supermarket down the road and just bolt by where I'm buying specialty Japanese rice for certain dishes and sushi. Yeah. Yeah, when I buy my sushi rice and that, yeah, that's, that's just sushi rice. But if I'm doing stuff like this dessert that I'm, I'm wrangling out or um, the, what do you call it? Um, or, you know, like special fried rice or whatever I'm making at the time. It's one of those things. I tend not to, like I said at the start, I tend not to, I tend to, um, at least, you know, the carbon that is being emitted to get the rice here from other countries, that can be, um, offset, you know, eventually we can go to totally renewable shipping, that, that's doable, whereas using a country's water unsustainably, <laughs> literally means you're going to run out of water. So, and uh, that can't be fixed. <laughs> That's my take on it anyway. Yeah, just wondered if, you, if you'd thought about it, if you had an opinion on it. <laughs> Obviously, I've been away building an off-grid eco house, so you know it's got my thoughts running towards um, more eco things. <laughs> I almost bought two two thigh pack, two packs of thigh meat. I'm kind of glad I didn't now. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh, I've got enough for one more, it looks like. Yep. And we've eaten all the bacon. It's alright. Bing's playing with a leaf. <laughs> I thought she was down there chewing my internet cable again. Oh, it's gonna get grumpy. <laughs> ah, broke it. I broke it. Broke it. 
I need a, now I need a big, big plastic chopping board, I've now decided. <laughs> For all the food prep. And if I had an unlimited budget, I would import unmilled rice blends from Japan and buy a custom threshing milling machine for here to prepare at various settings. Ooh, okay, here we go. Do you like coffee blends? You're doing like rice blends? Is that, how the hell does that work? It's a company in New York that does that for higher class restaurants in New York and they do very well because outside of Japan, rice selections are like sparse. Just generally rice selections are sparse. Here, you know, you get basmati, jasmine, long grain, short grain, it's about it. That's, that's pretty much your, your uh, well, not necessarily mixing blends, but there's a ton of rice varieties in countries that specialize in them. Yeah, right. I have to pay a bit more attention next time I'm down my uh, Asian grocer. See what they've got in the way of different varieties of rice. All right, well, we're out of bacon. So, I think we're, well, I could pick up a couple, maybe. Let's find out. Do we have toothpicks? That is the question of the moment. Does Ulrich have toothpicks in his cupboard? Stay tuned to find out. Not looking hopeful. <laughs> nope. Aww. Bad food. <laughs> Suppose I could string them up. Maybe. Do I have string? We have string. Let's try stringing some of these up. We've got, yep, got just enough cheese left. Oh, minus one. Next time I need a trip to the Indian grocer, I'll get you to come play Pat Mill and we can see what they have and where it's from. Yeah, absolutely. Let me know, man. Big time. All right. So how are we going to do this? Let's see. I do maybe three. I should probably have laid the string out first. Arms. All right. Let's see how this works. Seems to work to me. Alright. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. Come on, 
Shut up. up. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Jeez, bro. There we go, used it all. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a series of food. <laughs> eleven. There were eleven thighs in that packet. That's insane. Oh, there you go. Washing off the ham. Catch great all. bit of cleaning up, get uh, some of this stuff out of the way, because I really do not like cleaning in a dirty kitchen, well cooking in a dirty kitchen. Stop it. I see you little kilobytes per second. Stop being a dick. You've been gone a long time. I'm very out of practice. <laughs> oh, yeah. All 
Ah, that is nicely preheated. I'm happy with that. <sighs> Coffee break. <laughs> it's so nice to be back. It's so nice to have you back. Yay! She's awesome. All right. So, I'm not going to do a shed to the mash for this one. Just going to do a couple of a couple of tapes. Start the tatties off before we um, put the chickens into the oven. Because tatties take forever. Forever. But I have a little choppy uppy way of doing it. starting to boil. And yes, I have like just gone, oh yeah, do this other thing and it's just, I've turned around and the kitchen's been flooded. <laughs> it was a very oops moment. So these are t uh, supposedly mashing spuds. I don't think I've used them for mashing before. I've used this brand before. Um, but, wow. I think my peel is dying. I'm gonna have to go back to using a knife. Um, I still haven't investigated this brand yet either. Um, I do occasionally, here's a weird one, I do occasionally leave the skins on when I do mash because there is a lot of nutrients in the skin of potatoes. Um, if I'm going for, like I am today, if I'm going for a really, really smooth mash, um, I'll take the skins off. But if I'm going for a chunkier mash, I'll usually leave the skins on, just cause. Which way does your peeler go, along the handle or at right angle? Um, at right angles, so you peel that way. That's like peeling with a knife. I've, I used to be quite good at peeling potatoes with a knife. It may have been my, um, a fair amount of uh, the, the naughty punishments in the military, you know, go peel spuds. out in the compost. Well that rice in there will go in the compost as well eventually.
stick the rust to the bottom of your pan. <laughs> Get a whole heap of crappy rust. feel better now just because there's not a pile of rice in the bottom of my sink. <laughs> Sorry you had to watch my back there for a little while but them's the breaks. <laughs> Alright so whoops that was crap. Um, cutting mashed spuds. Basically that was meant to be in half. <laughs> meant to be. And then all I do is just cut them into really thin um, slices, thin as you can really, and that's it. I find if you cube them, it takes so much longer to actually um, get them cooked. Whereas, if you do them in slices like this, the actual, I find that the size differential doesn't matter as much. So like, if you get your, um, if you do your spuds in cubes, then those end bits that are, are really small tend to just go really fast, cook really fast. Whereas these, doing it this way, um, I find that it doesn't matter if you do a pair of slices like that. So if you do one slice like that and one slice like that, they tend to cook about the same um, speed. I don't know why, but there you go. Obviously, I aim for the thinner because the thinner you slice this, the thinner the, you slice them as you go the faster that it's going to cook overall. Don't know, the water's not boiling yet, so these aren't. <laughs> it's fine. camera while chopping. <laughs> right. And there we go. So for interest sake, normally I have it on my shoulder, my tea towel on my shoulder. Um, but it's going, to be, it's going to be the towel hanging on the wall today. Um, at the end of stream, um, basically it goes straight in the wash. Because once I've finished with it, it's got all goo and God knows what all over it. So all goes straight in the wash at the end of the show. In case anyone was wondering, the tea towels and such that I, I use for this are, are one use only. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Cheese grommet. In the fridge with ya. Hey, Bing. Right. So, pinch of salt. In with the spuds. I don't know that it does anything, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> right, so, got the spuds on. Chicken's about ready to go. And here we go. Now, 
out in there. And set the half an hour timer that I prepared earlier. <laughs> There we go. Huzzah! Right, so let's try another another rice combo. So we have so if we do Do one cup of rice. Where is my rice? I put it away. Ziggy, out. Got a Ziggy underfoot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try one cup of rice this time, so that we hopefully don't burn it to the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pan. These things are freaking awesome for just sealing bags and that. I love them. You can get them basically anywhere, but I think I got mine from Ikea. Stop it. Right, so... We'll put three quarters of a cup... Oh, a swallot. Let's see if I've got one of those. Oops, what did I do? I don't know what I did there. Oh, I don't have one. Nearly knocked it. All right. Um. Stop being silly interwebs. All right, so we're gonna do three quarters of a cup of apple juice. Do a quarter of a cup of water and see where that goes. Because when we did this with a full cup of um, apple juice. It was so insanely sickly sweet, it was horrible. Um, so now we are messing with, um, messing with proportions to see what happens. I'm wasting a little bit of rice. Most of that wasted rice last time was from the last batch was because it was burnt to the bottom of the pan because I tried to do a smaller batch which messed it up putting it in the cooker so there you go ah oh, damn you swallow escaping all right have another sip of this because it's weird that last time I did this it was um yeah that should have been sweeter. That first batch. See, that's still really sweet. So, I don't know. Yeah. We will see. We will see momentarily. Now, that said... I don't mind if it's a little bit on the sweet side because what the plan is, is to um, then fry up, uh, cube up a Granny Smith apple or two, depending on, you know, 
what size, how much rice we've got. Um, then fry them, give them a light fry. So it just caramelizes the outside of the, the cube, but uh, keeps it crunchy. And then mix it all together, sprinkle it with cinnamon and serve. It's that. Um, Rach, I'm unsure how anyone drinks straight apple juice. <laughs> Um, this, the, the pink lady apple juice is really quite sweet. Um, if you prefer tart, then that Granny Smith apple juice that I bought, oof, that's got some tart to it. Um, ice cold half and half apple juice and water is your favorite. Yeah, nice. Yeah, T drinks um, apple and black currant juice 50-50 with water. She, she waters it down and she enjoys it that way. She doesn't like it straight. I do. <laughs> Might be the epic sweet tooth that I have, that may have something to do with it. Upright light, yeah. <laughs> we, we all love apple juice, just some of us water it down, some of us don't, that's, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, my eyes. I can't see, everything is blurry right now. <laughs> oh, now everything's not so blurry because my blurry glasses were also blurry. <laughs> we all like tarts upright, absolutely. That mushroom tart went over quite well with the fam, so that's not bad. Definitely going to try apple and black currant. Yes, do so. It is, it is very norms. Um, the other one I like is um, no sponsorship here. Apple and mango. Apple and mango juice is, is really tasty. All right, go go gadget. Oh, sorry, Zig. Go go gadget. So I think we've got everything cooking now. It's just a matter of hanging out. <laughs> Don't talk about all week that way. He's not. I am so a tart. <laughs> He's just making his own choices. And I choose to be a tart. <laughs> there needs to be more tarts in the world, I think. Let's all be tarts together. <laughs> free the tart, free the tart. <laughs> right, so, what do we got? Got that cooking. I wonder if we should probably, probably do some peas and corn for this thing. This is lunch. You have my full support. <laughs> Hashtag free the tart. <laughs> free the tart. <laughs> right. I think I may have to put a little box up here. That, that, just there. That's like got the chat in it. My screen is getting a little full though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We might trial it next week if I get around to, to putting it in. Um, trial it next week and see what happens. If it gets too much, we'll just turn it off. <laughs> uh, if the internet would work, sorry if this is getting laggy for everyone. Um, for some reason, my internet's waving around like an idiot. Um, I've turned off everything I can but I'm thinking Bean has been chewing on that ethernet cable a bit much. <laughs> I've got cats running from every direction to get a bit of chickens. I should really just go feed it to them. be feeding the cats in the kitchen but every now and then they get special treatment Ziggy 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 you twit cat come here all right 
There we go. More treats for them. Uh, Rach, I'm in my kitchen making bacon and egg wraps and watching on my iPad, so it's already laggy. Sorry. There's the slightest tang of apple to that, but it's just not enough. <laughs> Rach says hello to you lot. They say give me chicken. <laughs> Don't think it's any more than all. Okay, nice. Yeah, well, it's an iPad. What do you want? <laughs> Terrible iPad latency. Now, at the start of stream, the whole um, OBS shut down. It was just couldn't reconnect. It was a pain in the ass. And at this point, I think the only option is to buy another cable and see if that changes anything. Rach has chicken. I pulled a whole barbecue chicken apart for the first time on Monday. Nice. There you go. Cheers, chickens. Do you want to go to Queensland and get chickens? No? You want chickens here? Okay. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Let's see if we can... Oh, that camera's frozen. Okay. Um... Chop camera, deactivate, reactivate. There we go. Oh, so there's Ziggy waiting on the corner. Beans over there. Bean on the floor. Anissa's just wandered off because she knew I was getting the camera. <laughs> All right. Rach, I have so many cables, I wish I could loan you one. <laughs> I have, I am currently running four cables, four ethernet cables in the house. There's one to the Younglings uh, computer, one out the back in the, um, in my streaming area. There's one goes to the computer, one goes to the um, PlayStation. And then I've got the, the back and forth one here that I use when on Thursdays. So. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna get a shorter one though. 30 meter one is just too long for, for this, for what I'm doing here. But that's okay. Um, right. How long have we got? Well, we've still got 17 minutes for the chickens to be ready. Because we put them in for half an hour at 180 degrees. Rach, I'm fully on Wi-Fi. Oh, you're on Wi-Fi? <laughs> um, I just convinced Mum to let me drill a couple of holes in the floor to run an Ethernet cable to my computer under the house. But now I'm going to rearrange my whole house eventually and move rooms. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Rach promises Queensland chickens are good. Kevin approaches. Kevin approaches for his chickens. <laughs> oh, see, I can really smell the apple coming off of that now. So it's just that little bit of extra apple. You can see it steaming away in the background, and it, at the moment, the kitchen is it, just got that. You know, when you cut an apple and you you sniff it, and it's just got that that tang, that apple tang to it. That's what the kitchen smells like right now. So. Hopefully, that means that um, it's working. Right. So I can feel that they're still... Still reasonably hard. Oh, Kevin approves. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that said Kevin approaches. <laughs> I 
Oh, I just teleported across the kitchen. Okay. Well, that camera's still working. That camera's still working. <laughs> I don't know. So it might almost be time for um for a dry ginger ale. <laughs> So, I do really, really buttery mash. I like a lot of butter in my mash. Bit of salt. I also put a bit of milk in. But occasionally, if I'm going to be really, really decadent, I actually um, put cream in. I don't think I've got any cream in the fridge at the moment. So, let's have a look. Got mayonnaise in the fridge. Nah. <laughs> Nah, uh, doesn't look like we got any cream. Food. <laughs> no. Nah. So we're just doing the butter. Butter tastes better. <laughs> uh, stop it, internet. Buttermilk, cheese, and sour cream is your fan. Ooh, sour cream is your fancy match. Yeah, okay, okay. Should we do that? Should we? Should we grate up some um, some tasty cheese? I think I have a tentacruel. Let's find out. Grate up some tasty cheese and throw it in the mash. We can do that. Check what Pokemon we've got. Oh, I don't have a Tentacruel. Here we go. I actually thought I had one. Poke Catch Ultra Ball. I'm here licking. I think it's Ziggy just smacking her chops. <laughs> Give me more chickens. Um, right, that's boiling away nicely. That's the chicken that's looking. Ooh, see a couple of them have, have well, they've all kind of lost their cheese a little bit. <laughs> have lost their cheese, but that's okay. Just enough milk for consistency. Yeah, pretty much. If the question is cheese, the answer is always yes. <laughs> all right, let's do that. Um, actually going to wash this properly. cheese on this one anyway, but just to be sure. It's fine. Alright, so we got what? We got about half of that. That's about half one. I do like white bat audio. Oh, nice catch, Rach. Got the tentacruel. Ah. Great the cheese. Is there such a thing as too much cheese? That is the question. Ah, weird sound. But that was the rice cooker. That was the rice cooker popping. So we've done about 125 grams of cheese that we're going to put in the mash. 
probably way too much. <laughs> but she'll be right. Yeah, that's way too much. <laughs> that's probably going to be more than the mash. <laughs> so we're not probably going to put all that in. Cheesy, cheesy mash. All right. still a little bit down the bottom. Still a little bit burns. I think that's just the sugars out of the apple juice to be honest. Stop it. Right, there we go. Cheesy. <laughs> it is weird. Barely any apple flavour to this either. Like that tiniest bit of water is just messing with the entire flavour. So I've got some crunchy bits here. Don't know if you can see that in the glare. There you go. <laughs> That's so weird. So I can barely taste the apple in that either now. I wonder why. Okay, more experimentation needed. Might just be because my palate's full of so many different foods right now. Beard rice. No. Beard rice. <laughs> um, hmm. So, yeah. Might try that again once it's cooled a bit and, um, hmm. And my palate's not full of 15 other flavors. <laughs> get any of those on a fork so they're pretty much near ready. Rach, I don't know how I know this but I know that apple juice evaporates fast in the water. Ah, there you go. I mean I was a scientist for a long time before my first stroke so probably something to do with viscosity. Yeah that's fair. There you go. I had no idea.
Now it's bugging me. <laughs> Just bugging me. Doesn't have to be full flavor though, does it really? Hmm. Alright. Well, we're getting closer. There, there's definitely more apple flavor in the second one than there was in the first. So. There's a tiny bit of apple in it. That one's definitely got more apple flavor. Maybe it's a different time of year, because this is all cold pressed. Hmm. Alright. The flavor is there though. It is a bit more. Alright. So at this point, I think we can then go into the next stage, which will be um, uh, throwing in the Granny Smiths and a bit of cinnamon on top and see how it goes. I'll put a bit of sugar in it maybe. Just a, it's a bit cheaty. I don't really want to put sugar in it to get that sweetness that I'm looking for. Although, the next stop, the other option could be to do um, three quarters of the um, Pink Lady and then a quarter of the Granny Smith, which is a bit tartar. So that might offset the overall sweetness, but still give us a more robust flavor. Brown sugar? Yeah. If I was going to do that, I'd, I'd just sprinkle some raw sugar on it, but... The cinnamon's going to change it as well. If sugar is sugared, I think brown sugar goes best with apples. Ah, eh, fair enough. Caramelia. <laughs> Small caramelia. I can get behind that. <laughs> I can get behind more caramelia. Mold. Whip and mold. No, Ziggy, there's no more chickens yet. More chickens yet. Yeah. Go in, go in, go in. There you go. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Alright, draining the buddies. Sound. Ah, see, I'm turning back on. Uh, whip it, whip it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Two different songs there. Days of glam rock. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, whoa, timer. Jesus, what the hell? OK. 
Okay. All right, could you hear that bit of bit of Whoa, holy crap. Okay. Um, where's the other one? There it is. Ah, shit flying everywhere. All right, take glasses off for this bit. This is, whoo. Oh, now that camera's not working. So you can't see the good looking chickens. Uh, there you go. Good looking chickens. You can see that the cheese is like melted out a little bit. But that's okay. Oh, I'm looking forward to eating that. All right. Little bit of splash of milk. Now if I have one of those. Right, we'll just quickly try and catch Pokemon. And then we'll go back to our match. Cheese Grummet! <laughs> flinging taters everywhere. Taters, Mr. Furdu! Did you do the hydrate which was redeemed earlier? No, I did not. Bad, Ulrich. I did not see the hydrate. So, let's do some apple juice drating. Maybe that's why it's burning on the bottom. Hmm. Ah. Thank you for the hydrate. Who redeemed the hydrate? Who did I miss? Damn, where the hell was the hydrate? I can't even see it. Okay, that's weird. It's not in my feed. Is it in my Twitch? Oh! Kekin Hakako. Sorry, I didn't see the hydrate. My bad. Bad, Ulrich. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Alright, more cheese. 
Oops. Flinging around cheese carelessly like an animal. <laughs> So let's add some more milk. I'm a mole. There we go, that's better. No, oh, bugger. <laughs> We're putting all the cheese in. All of it, all of it, I told you. Now I've made this. Massive mess on my nice clean countertop. Oops. Come on, cheese. Yeehaw! I'm supposed to be either gardening, but it's just started spitting or hemming up block out curtains. But you'd nah, watch my stream. <laughs> That's way better. <laughs> I got mash in my beard. <laughs> Lift the spoon. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Do a little bit of cleaning some of this stuff out of the way. Like the cheese. <laughs> Alright. So we've had a bit of fun experimenting with the um with the rice. I think we're getting there. Just slowly but surely we are getting there. Ziggy Bean's obviously pissing Ziggy off. She's hissing at her. Alright. Just getting some of the stuff out of the way, then we're going to plate up. See what it looks like. Um. Mm. All right, plate. One by plate. Um. Okay. All right, we're going to take one of these out. That just looks stunning, that does. Grab some extra cheese, because, you know. Put some of that on top. Now, here's a little tricksy. Well, careful, Bean. What happens when you get in the hot things are hot? Right, and we take a spoonful of juice. Just drizzle that over the top. Just for a bit of extra flavour. Oh Jesus! Mmm, lick the bowl, lick the bowl. All right, get some mash going. Now, normally I would also do um, a couple of like a, a peas and corn. Throw peas and corns on this. Literally everything, right? Because it's freaking tasty. All right. So here we go. Let's see if this works. All right. There you go. 
cheese, cheese, chicken and bacon roll up with some mash on the side. So now, <laughs> the fun part. Now we get to eat the wee beastie. <laughs> Good. Ah. That is just baseline comfort food. <laughs> Baseline comfort food, I tell you. And that is still so insanely juicy. Like, you're biting into it, you put it in your mouth, and you can tell that it's it, there's still that moisture in it. You know, just, just as soon as it goes on your tongue. But... As you bite into it, it's it just releases even more juice, and it's just and you you can see in this thing that it's, it's the juice is splashing around in that. Uh, there's a huge amount of juices in it, and yet this is still really really tender and um, juicy and om nom 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 nom. Now it's chicken bacon and cheese. I mean. That's, that's not a flavour profile that people, most people, would be unfamiliar with. Um, if you are, it's bacon, chicken and cheese. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I may have to eat another one as soon as we're done here. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice. So, we put a whole heap of cheese in the mash, as you saw. And with the chicken roll-up, you do get that. It's mostly cheese and, uh, mostly chicken and bacon. But every now, you just get that little tang of cheese that goes with it. Which is nice. But then, with your mash, you're getting that same... Because we use the same cheese... You're getting that that same tang coming through in uh, the mash as well, and it really brings it together. It it it, it is that that subtle flavour profile that's through the whole thing. Which I find really interesting. I've never I've not done it this way before. Well, I've not done this one before anyway, but... Hmm. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I've not done... Um, um, the put extra cheese into the mash to go with it. And I'm really happy with that. Thank you, Rach. Good idea. <laughs> So now I'm just going to sit here eating my food, and you guys can all, you know, think about having some too. <laughs> oh, lick the bowl, lick the plate. That's what we're doing here. Lick the everything. Absolutely, Blit. Absolutely. Hey! Blith is a... Uh, Blith. <laughs> Sorry. I've got Blith on the brain now. Um, Bean is... They both start with B. Bean is being a little monster right now. God, that's so tasty. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. <laughs> Alright, so... We've made progress on our on our rice. Made a really nice chicken. Also, by the way, these things, um, you put them in the fridge and uh, you can 
eat them next day. You can eat them cold. Um, you can reheat them uh, in the microwave, reheat them in the oven, any which way you want to go. Um, they'll last about, probably about three days in the fridge. A bit longer in the freezer if you want to freeze them. Um, but if you've done them right, they shouldn't last long enough to get into the freezer. <laughs> they really shouldn't. Um, this In this house, between the three of us, that'll be gone in a day, maybe two. So these will these will all be gone by Friday. <laughs> no wait, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Probably. Um Yeah, generally I find um two of these per person is is generally makes for a big meal. Um <clears throat> so depending on, on what your um what your eating habits are. If you if you like a lot of food, then three would probably do you because these these are um, they're quite filling at the end of the day. So one just as a snack works really well as well. Um, so sort of like that that brunch just to break your fast. Um, one is is nice. So again. Depends. If you want to sit down and eat eight, sit down and eat eight. What do I care? <laughs> um, but yeah. So this one I really enjoy, and we do these around. We do these about probably once every probably eight to ten weeks. We do this. Which is, you know, um, <laughs> I just realized I keep putting, giving everyone the middle finger while I'm pushing up my glasses. I'm going to have to stop that. <laughs> um, Alright. I'm going to try and catch another Pokemon. A Hatrum. As I just sit here and mung, mung on all the things. <laughs> mm. So freaking juicy, juicy, juicy goodness. So yeah, all right. <laughs> can't think. This is just so freaking tasty. I can't think. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we will be, what's on tomorrow? Seeing it's pretty much time to wind up stream, seeing we're eating. First you lick the everything, then you eat the everything. Yes, absolutely, Blair, absolutely. <laughs> um, whew, so tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be playing Valheim uh, with Warden. He's, uh, he jumped on last night and said that he was going to um, jump on and play Valheim with us again tomorrow. So, yay! Um, and then you light the plate again to be sure. You lick the plate again. Yes! Lick the bowl, eat the food, lick the plate. Yes! <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Um, I was thinking, right? How do you how do you shorten that into a you know a quick title? And my brain went straight to lick, eat, lick. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> um, so yeah, tomorrow Valheim, and then uh, we're off till Tuesday, where we'll be playing some Civ Six, and with a bit of luck, we might uh, Blith might come along and join us having a game of Civ Six. I'm gonna do a co-op, see what happens, blow everyone up, and uh, so that would be nice. <laughs> Blith's in, he's happy with that idea. Well, I'll be starting at about 10 o'clock Adelaide time, 
So up to you, mate. If you uh, if you want to join straight away, that's cool. We can set up. If you happen to be a bit later, I can bum around with one of the games that I've got going on and can try uh, something different. And when you get there, we'll start a co-op game. I've got to got to figure out how that works. <laughs> Mm. I literally cannot stop eating this. Um, yeah, and then back to Warframe Wednesday, and then we're cooking again. So, uh, don't forget, we are on Discord, so I haven't put up the, I haven't, I've been a bit slack with my behind the scenes work, but, um, whoops, so we'll put up a, let's see if this command still works, it does. There's a Discord. Come and join us on Discord. Um, if you would like to um, something something dark side, if if you would like to uh, throw up a recipe, or you know one of your personal recipes, full recipe, or if you just want to go, hey, go make this thing, um, give or well, give making this thing a go, um, then yeah, throw it into Discord, and I'll see what I can do. Um, just be aware that I am allergic to chili and um, chili and eggplant. Sorry, Bing's being an idiot. Um, so while I might do a chili dish, um, I won't. I won't be able to taste it on stream and, and give you an idea of what I'm tasting. Same with eggplant. I'm not deathly allergic. My body just doesn't react well to either. So. Um, while I'm happy to cook that sort of recipe with, with either of those ingredients, um, I won't be tasting it on stream. <laughs> so yeah, if you've got a, or even if you've just got an idea, um, I'm, uh, someone suggested a, a little while ago that I try kimchi, uh, try making a kimchi. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how to do that, even though that is a chili dish. Um, but the rest of the household like chili, so I'll just feed it to them. <laughs> yeah, what does this taste like? Oh, God. <laughs> Which is a bit of fun. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas, feel free to throw them in Discord. And we'll see how we go. I'm trying to... He says, looking away from the screen. I'm trying to get around to adding a cooking section to Discord. Um, I'm just... I want to, I'll probably end up doing it as a separate um, area in Discord. And then I can just do a list. I can do like one post per recipe um, in its own thread. And then um, that way I can organize it alphabetically or I can organize it by, you know, stew, sweet, dessert, whatever I want to, you know. Um, when I figure out, the actual template for that um, or I might just start and see where it goes so it'll be end up being um, Ulrich's cookbook effectively <laughs> seeing that um, uh, upright reasonably assures me that uh, you can't copyright a process uh, which is a recipe cooking so there you go we can we can call it Ulrich's cookbook and I will, of course, you know, if I've, if there is credit to give, uh, for example, the recipes that I've taken out of the um, something something dark side that I've taken out of the <sighs> Country Women's Association cookbook. Of course, I'm going to put put the credit in there for that. Um, but yeah. So there, there's the plan going forward. That's what we're all up to. So hopefully, and of course, as always, if you have any ideas of stuff you'd like to see or things you'd like improved, maybe, you know, um, please do throw them in Discord. All of your ideas I will, I will give I will give my best consideration to. And if I can do it and it's going to work for the stream, then yeah, we can give it a go. Um, worst case, uh, worst case, doesn't work, we stop using it. Best case, we we keep using it and it adds to the stream and that, that's awesome. 
More cheese. All right. We're now adding more cheese to everything for Rach. <laughs> grate the cheese. Grate the cheese. All right. And now we're playing Civ 6. So we're going to grate some cheese onto Civ 6. <laughs> Yeah, I did not, I forgot to take a picture of the meal. I was so excited to just jump in and eat it. <laughs> what are you doing, Bean? She's an idiot. <laughs> Considering I'm eating mac and cheese with meatballs. I'm good with extra cheese on all the things. Mac and cheese with meatballs. That's interesting. All right, mac and cheese with meatballs. So, I still have some portions of those meatballs we, uh, we made the other month. So we could take a few of them, make a mac and cheese, throw some meatballs in, see what happens. Mac and cheese with meatballs. That could be good. All right. Well, now that I've cleaned up my plate and <laughs> maybe a bit more, oh, just the juices are still just just like eat. Uh, Blitz macaroni, sharp cheddar, meatballs, crushed roasted garlic, ooh, and smoked paprika. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, we have a D&D game. I've got D&D messages. Um. So no, not clock camera. The one next to it. I'm just gonna take a quick. All right, there we go. You actually have a recipe for that, Bliff? Because if you do, I've got this Discord. <laughs> homemade mac and cheese but it's so many steps is it right okay I, I have no idea Rue scars the crap out of me every time <laughs> um, it's so easy but so easy to muck up how do you muck it okay Blith will be sharing stuff there nice nice <laughs> um, excellent because I keep running out of ideas honestly I, it's like, I decided I was doing these, I decided I was doing them at, um, probably about 11.30 last night, <laughs> so I got up extra early so I could go shopping <laughs> to get all the things for it, so, oops, all right, chop camera, that, that camera off, there we go, okay, so, as we come to the end of the stream. <laughs> Looks like I've got some dishes to do. Uh, so thank you everyone for joining us. Well, we made a little over two hours. So that's that's not bad for cooking as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's weird that Twitch recommends minimum two hours of streaming. It's like, that's a fair, fair time for a lot of people. Spending two hours just trying to stream. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> um, hopefully, I should, alright, I'll get off my butt and I will at least put in the, um, the suggestions and recommendations under a cooking channel in Discord. Um, give me an hour or so, <laughs> give me an hour or so to, um, to clean up the kitchen. And put everything away and well and then um and then i'll go up and i'll i'll throw that into discord <laughs> all right let's see if we can get it here we go oh we haven't got that camera turned on anymore chop camera where is she there she is look at that <laughs> just sitting there pleadingly looking up at me let's stop the handshakes a bit and there's the bean oh no that's ziggy Ziggy coming in for a cleaning. It's awesome. She just walks up and headbutts Issa. And Issa just starts cleaning her. 
<laughs> there you go. More kitty cam. One kitty cam, two kitty cams. Oops, feeling a bit Klingon. <laughs> so, yes, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, thank you for hanging out and the scintillating conversation, as always. And it does, and I mean, I know I say this a lot, but it makes it so much easier when with people in chat just to, to keep the banter going. Um, I do apologize when I miss things. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of which, I did not thank Blith for his subscription yesterday. I, I, I missed that one, so doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance, doing the happy dance. Thanks, Blith. <laughs> Thanks for streaming and making me hungry. <laughs> Anytime, anytime. Happy to make people hungry. All the time, happy to make people hungry. So, thank you everyone for joining us. You are all very much appreciated. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kakin Hakako, for your subscription. Yay! And the follow. So, extra happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, and Rach, resubscribe. Thank you so very much. Yay! Ah, makes it so much easier. Anyway, um, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, that was a stream. <laughs> no worries, Rach. Thank you for coming in, hanging out. And look at that. As always, just as I'm signing off, they send another Pokemon at me. So let's do that. Let's do a Pokecatch Ultra Ball again. We'll see if we can catch that while we're signing off. <laughs> um, oh, look at that. It just did the Discord thing again. That was nice of it. Um, yes. So, thank you, everyone. We will be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock Adelaide time. Uh, if you don't know when that is, where you are, scroll down uh, under the feed and have a look at the schedule. That should tell you um, when I'm streaming where you are. So if you happen to be, <laughs> they had to throw an end of stream Pokemon at you because why not? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, you must be about to finish Daylight Savings. Um, sure. Why not? <laughs> I Actually, I don't know. Um, I don't know when we're, we're doing... Daylight savings, let's find out. Uh, when close to the yeah, let's see, yeah. Um, first Sunday in April, so three weeks, three weeks away ish. Hey, and I caught the why not. <laughs> uh -huh. Which means you'll be on 10.30 Queensland time instead of 9.30. Yeah. So, three to four weeks, somewhere in there. Uh, first Sunday in April is when we, we turn our clocks back an hour. So, there you go. We now know. Um, so, yes. Right. I think that's everything. I've caught the Pokemon. <laughs> Quick, I've got 13 and a half minutes to sign off before the next one gets here. <laughs> All right, so let's try that again. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, that was a stream. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging out. And remember, be nice to yourselves and each other. Bye! That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Don't forget to check the description for any links I may have left there. If you like the video, please press like or subscribe to my channel. The next video in the series is up here. Until then, stay safe, have fun.